Hey, I'm Jeff Bates, the Bike Ranch at HuckandRoll.com. Today we're going to talk all about 29ers, where they came from, their differences, and why everybody's talking about them. 29ers tires have been around for over 10 years. WTB gave birth to the Nano Raptor in 1999. Shortly thereafter, Gary Fisher came out with the first production 29er, the Excalibur. Although, Legend and Wikipedia maintain that Wesley Williams of Willett Cycles was the first true preacher of the 29er gospel. These days, most well-established bike builders make a 29er. In fact, Visago makes nothing but 29ers. Whereas once only you could find a fully rigid, these days you can choose from hardtail, single speed, and full suspension 29ers. Let's go check them out. So let's take a look at what makes a 29er a 29er. It takes a lot more than just putting large wheels on a 26 inch frame. Without a few critical changes, there wouldn't be much advantage to a 29er in the first place. The benefits of the big wheel include a lower approach angle. This makes obstacles smaller. Larger contact patch. Increasing traction in corners. In my opinion, the magic of the 29er is the relationship between the bottom bracket and the hub center. On a 29er, the bottom bracket sits lower than the hub center. This makes the rider feel as though they are sitting within the bike and less on top, like a 26er. These design differences in the larger wheels produce some key handling differences that make switching to a 29er a real revolution in your relationship with your bike. It's not a fad. This thing's a real deal. Big wheels are here to stay. They're great for beginners, super stable, they increase confidence. It's pretty much game changing from experts to pros. How do you buy a 29er? Go to huckandroll.com to find out.